Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, people, I just, how you guys doing? My name is Blocks, and welcome back to our Beast No tutorials for your individual server. So, let's give a little rundown of what today is going to look like. So, today we're going to be running through the control panel for your server. That's right, so... In the description below, there is going to be a link for Beast Node. So click on that bad boy, and you are going to see that this website has changed from our, our first video. So as you can see, it is a little user friendly. Um, they have Y Beast Node. Everything is like boom, bada bing, right up front. But what we are going to want to do is go to Control Panel and go to your Multicraft Panel. So that's for your server. So next you're going to want to do is go to your server and you're going to want to make sure that you're logged in and bada bada ba. So you're going to log into your server. This is my server actually. I actually have some guys on it right now actually that these are just some friends. It's just a small private server. Um, I'm going to have the IP blocked just so we don't have anything to worry about on that end. But yeah, so as you can see, it has changed a little bit from where we last left off. So we're going to go into our server. And you might have looked and seen this already. So this is what our server looks like. Here you can change the name. Right now it's just a regular old name. The amount of players, the online, the IP as you guys cannot see, the port, the world, the craft bucket, the jar file, the resource uses, your, eh, resource usage, the CPU and the disk space, as well as the roles. Then you can see some of the connected players. So what we're going to do is we're going to run through some of the things that this has to offer. So we have the chat. So as you can see, if you want to chat with any of your guys, if you can go back, you also have the console. So here, if you don't want to be logged in, you can do a bunch of your commands via here. So for instance, slash reload or slash restart. And you can OP yourself and a variety of other server commands that you're going to need. You can also do all those commands in-game. But today, we're just going to worry about the non-in-game side. We're just going to worry about the control panel kind of running through and showing you guys everything that you're going to use. So let's go back over to our server. I guess you could call it web. So this is what we've got. Now, there is also the files and the advanced. I actually don't use the advanced side at all. Barely do I ever use this advanced. But most of the time, under files, you're going to be using two different things. You're going to be using the bucket plugins as well as the FTP file access. So for here, I'll explain. So the bucket plugin is you're going to want to do all your plugins. So if you want to add plugins to your server, that is where you're going to go. Now, to access those plugins, you're going to want to go to your FTP file access. But before we get anything done, what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to add plugins to our server. So I've actually made this server. It is completely done. Um, I will give a little run through at the end, kind of just not end of this video, but end of our series on how what the server looked out in the end. But I'll give you a little description and then I will show you guys our finished project. So let's begin. So our server is basically there's a couple guys from school and we wanted to have something where it was small that we could have PvP kind of raiding each other just for the hex of it. So we've got about 10 guys or so I think it is and we pretty much go at it and kill each other. So with that we installed a couple plugins just the basic ones that we needed stuff like world boundary, uh, world edit, uh, we wanted heads enabled so once you killed each other the heads dropped kind of just basic stuff like that and so those those were some of the other things we'll get into plugins a little bit later but for right now I wanted to show you guys the very first thing you're gonna want to do so if you want plugins you're gonna go to your world under this first thing and then there'll be a drop down so here it has a variety of things so you can go to snapshots you can change it there's a bunch of other mod packs etc and there's also just plain Minecraft. So if you wanted to play vanilla Minecraft, 1.7.10 all the way to 1.7.9 and 1.7.2. So those are all different things. You can see there's also Feed the Beast. Uh, I believe Tech it's on here somewhere. Pixelmon. So like I said, there's a variety of things. But if you just want the newest Minecraft with Beast Node, 
For your bucket plugins, you're going to want to go to the bucket plugin. You're going to want to go to bucket dev 1.7.10. Now, you have a couple options as you can see here. You have this one, and you can see the only difference is your build number. So you have 3104 and 316. I actually used both of those, so either one works. I am using the 3104. So that makes it so it's easier for me, and then it will change this jar file so that you can then have bucket plugins. So under show advanced, we also, let me give you a little thing, we have our memory, we have our unauthorized kick delay, so after 3,000 seconds it will be kicked. We have our auto save, so which means it saves your world. Then we have the announce auto save, so if you're on your server and you want it to be known when you're saving the world, you can go right there and it will do it for you. So, next thing we want to go to is our plugins. So, you're going to click on your plugins. And here, under the description, you have a variety of plugins that your heart can desire. Most of these, as you can see, are plugins listed powered by Bucket. So, the Bucket, Bucket Minecraft. And this is a variety of servers and plugins. So, if there is a plugin that you specifically know, for instance, we'll go Head Plugin. Or Head. Or I don't actually know so we'll go world edit so if you search world edit a variety of things will also show up so anything with world edit in the title for instance world edit regions world edit selection visualizer world edit mod itself limited world edit and the sync world edit this is a variety of lists that you can show then you can put on your server so for instance if we wanted world edit we click on world edit and now it gives you a little description. The version, the description you can click on, and it will take you to the bucket plugin, as you can see, kind of talking about a little bit more. But we don't want that. What we want to do is go back to. So then you have the plugin page, which just takes us right back to where we were. Then we have the status, so installed and up to date. So that's good. So we actually have this server install or this bucket plugin already installed. So that is why we have disable or remove. So for instance, if you didn't have this, it would say install right here. But I'm actually going to give you a list of the plugins that we have right now. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six plugins. And I'm going to run through and show you guys what I use for each. So combat tag. So we were worried about many of our guys like logging out in the middle of a battle, kind of being a baby and kicking out so what we downloaded is combat tag which allows you to log out but your character will stay there and so you can still kill them without them pvp logging so it sets a new character that says pvp logger bot one i think it is and then you can kill that player and then they can log back in and all the stuff will be gone so the next thing is essentials so we used essentials if you wanted to go to slash home slash tpa slash back a bunch of basic essential commands so it was really nice because we wanted to do things such as slash home so we could go back to our homes we wanted to do slash tpa so we could tpa to a friend or a teammate we also wanted to do uh back which uh, I actually banned because I didn't want players to go back to the place that they were just killed and grabbed all their stuff. So that was why we used essentials. Next thing we used was player heads, which, like I stated earlier, was if a player died, his head would drop. Now, each of these plugins has little things that we will go through later on, but for this video, we're just going to go and talk roughly about everything. So, next thing is world border. I wanted a world that would not necessarily be too big but not necessarily too small too small and I didn't want our players to be running around so what I did was I set a world border of about a thousand thousand blocks so that's a thousand from any direction of spawn and I'll be showing you guys how to do all this later in the episodes but I just used world border and got right into it and I now have a thousand border and so our guys once you get close to it it says you are now at the edge of the world you cannot go past it so it keeps everybody in a small world so the next thing we used was world edit um, I actually didn't use world edit I wanted to use world guard but in order to have world guard we needed world edit so that is why I have world edit now the reason I wanted world guard was because at our spawn I was worried that people would be killing each other right away when they spawned and I didn't want some of the guys to destroy the spawn that I already had built. So we used world guard to set a boundary of non-PVP and also a place where they could not destroy 
or mobs being spawned in so that they would kill you and it would become a complete mayday. So we used all those and we managed to have an amazing server that we like on a small basis. So that's our plugins that we used. And that is how you access your server plugins. So the next thing we talk about is our FTP file access. So here it will say the server you're going to connect to so you can choose the many servers if you have one. Your host IP, which as you guys cannot see, your port, your username, as well as your password. So I'm going to type in the password that they gave us. They should give you a password in your email. We're just going to hit login. And now you have all of this. So let's get right into it. So here are some of the basic, uh, you don't really have to worry about it. Um, when you start a world on your ser on your basic home, it will kind of, if you didn't use a server company, it would put all this onto a folder. For instance, your whitelist, your web, uh, your user cache, your server properties, permissions, ops, help, etc. All of these can be found in the log. So that makes that a lot easier. Now, with the server that we have, we only have one world. So this is our world folder. For instance, if you guys wanted to uh, upload a world, you would upload it into that folder and delete that folder. If you didn't like the world that you have and you want to redo it, you just click this check mark and click delete. But we don't want to do that because that would delete all of our progress. If you want to reset the nether, you can do the same or the end. So you just click that and click delete. Restart the server and it will put a new folder in. There's also the logs, the jar, and then these numbers that you don't really have to mess around with. The only thing we use is this plugins, the worlds, and that's about it. So going into plugins, I'm not going to get too in-depth, but I'm just going to show you. So here's the list of all the plugins that we had. What you're going to want to do is not worry about any of these bottoms, but except for the ones that have a folder. So these are our combat tag mod, our essentials, our player heads, uh, plugin metrics, where it's just from the server itself, the updater, the world border we installed. Okay, so now we're going to just choose one, for instance, and I'll give you a little rundown and then more in-depth later. So under combat tag, you click on it, and it takes you to the server properties. So here, you're going to go to the right and click edit. And now, it has the different things that the server or the mod has for it to offer. So for instance, here's a little variety, the tag duration. Um, this is a kind of a bad example, but uh, it has the MC name, PvP logger, if you wanted to name it as like, don't log out, insta kill false, disable commands, drop tag on kill, so etc. So those are kind of this something that, that has to offer. Now to go back, you just click that back button, and you're going to click this up button that takes you right back to all the other plugins. So we're going to show you another example really fast with World Guard. So... No, we're going to show you essentials. So we just go up and we click on essentials. And here you're going to have a bunch of things. You don't have to worry about the only thing you need to worry about is this config. So to the right, you're going to click edit. And then it's going to take you to a variety of things. Now, I'm actually going to go through this later in a video, but I just wanted to show you some of the things that the mods have to offer. You, you can change all of this, of course. It gives you a great in-depth description. And kind of just talking about it a little bit more in depth on the mod and the server. Sorry, not mod. Okay, so now we are basically all wrapped up with what that has to offer. So now we can go and say we wanted to go to, let's see, FTP login. And say we wanted to go to, where is it? Oh, server properties. So, for instance, say you wanted to set the type of world. So you're going to click edit. And you can do all this like we talked about before. So you have the spawn protection, the generate structures, the view distance, spawning monsters, max players, game mode. All of those things that were found in the originals. The server IP, uh, the level, the game default. Um, this is just kind of your server properties as a whole. Allowing the nether, OP permission levels, uh, enable query, allow flight, basic stuff that your server has for properties. So that kind of cl clarifies everything that the server has without getting too in-depth on a specific task. So here you can set up your whitelist if there's anything you wanted to whitelist. For instance, these guys at the moment are whitelisted. Um, I actually removed the whitelist so it didn't matter. But if you wanted to whitelist, you just input them here. Or you can go into server and type whitelist on, whitelist off, and then whitelist add player. But we'll go through all that a little bit later. 
And I think that covers everything that we have for today's mission. Now, there's also a backup, so if you wanted to back up your server, I'm not actually too worried about it. It's kind of small, so I don't really worry. Um, I'm actually completely putting myself in trust of Beast Node that it won't crash. It has great response systems, so I highly doubt it's going to crash. But if you're always worried, you can always back up your server. And I think that covers about everything I wanted to get today. Hopefully, this kind of gave you a little more in-depth structure on the server's properties as well as the plugins, kind of, and as well as the file access. So if there's any questions that you guys have about what you've seen right now or what you want to see in the next video, please do me a favor and comment down in the description what you want to see so that I can get a video out for you guys. I'm going to try to do these two to three times, one to two times a week maybe. That's what Beast Node tried to add, or that's what I have made an agreement with Beast Node. So we're going to try to stay that on as much as possible. We're going to still continue all the rest of our amazing survival games. Um, the voting system has been done. So we are going to look at that and decide how we want to take the next course of our channel. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, please do me a favor and click that like button. And like I said before, please comment down in the description if you have any questions. And please, wash your hands. Bye now.